Hello family, welcome to another beautiful edition of Annie Otta's vlog in today's Annie's Kitchen. I'm going to be making some beautiful, delicious homemade bread. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit the red button that says subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and you will be among the very first people that will be notified whenever I post something new. If you're a returning friend, well, we shall love our fan, follower. Thank you for coming back. I really, really love and appreciate you. Please do not forget to like, share, and comment on my videos. The first ingredients that I'll be mixing will be my yeast and warm water. So this is the yeast right here. Over here is the warm water. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be adding my sugar in here because sugar and yeast love each other. So that's going to make it form very, very quickly and better. So I'm going to stir it a little bit, then I'll set it aside for about 10 minutes. So I'm going to be using a little bit of my mixer. You can use your hand all through, but for the fact I have this mixer, I'm going to cut my physical energy a little shorter. Right here, I'm just pouring the flour. In here, again, you can use all purpose flour or you can use bread flour. So it depends on what you have available. Okay, so I just added my flour and this is my nutmeg, which is very, very optional. This is my salt my vanilla extract very very optional this is my milk mm -hmm. that's optional you can use water all through if you prefer and this is my butter i just melted it a little bit because it was too cold i'm gonna pour my yeast in as you can see this is nicely for me so if your yeast did not form then there's a problem and you might want to use a different mi uh, mixture of yeast so that means you have to actually use a different mix maybe that one is already no longer good mm -hmm. I'm just going to bring this dough out then I'm gonna need to wash your hand very well before you start kneading so you can knead this for about five to eight minutes <laughs> minutes for it to rise. I'm using oil spray. You can use oil. A little bit of flour on top of it. And I'm going to cover this. You can cover with a foil, a piece of cloth, or nylon, whichever you have available. And make sure that you allow this to sit for about 30 to 45 minutes. And at the end of the day, this dough has risen or tripled the size, double or triple the size. So again, I'm going to keep this aside and make sure you leave this in a very warm environment. We are going to check on our dough. It's been 45 minutes approximately. Whoa, look at this dough. Yeah, I told you guys that it's going to double the size. Look at this. You see? Yep. That's how you know the nice and good dough. You see? Yep. So we're going to 
put it back on our kneading table to remove all the trapped air try to I kind of knead it a little bit to be able to remove the air so it's not like I'm vigorously kneading it like uh, kneading this like before so I'm just a kind of uh, removing the air yep so I'm going to divide this into four if you can make it four equal parts So this one, I'm just going to spray it a little bit. Then, so when you do this though, make sure that the edge that is this, that you fold it very, very tight, tightly. You see what I'm doing? So that when this is baking and rising, it doesn't come off. So that's why I'm making sure that it's well tightened while I roll this. So I'm gonna set up my oven for 45 minutes the oven is so much preheated so I'm going to be putting the dough into the oven okay, so you can see yep. our bakery is done gonna glaze this with uh, some butter I just melted this butter a little bit so this is gonna give it a little shine to bring the beauty out so our bread is done just the way I presumed it to be so if you want this to be a little more puffy that means you're going to add a whole lot of yeast but for me this is the way i wanted it to be and that's the way it turned out to be so i pretty much love it love it love it mm, this is so so good mm -hmm. so let's see from this angle let's see oh my word mm. yep you see Mm -mm -mm. See? All right, guys. So, thank you so much for watching another beautiful edition of Annie Otter's vlog. And this kitchen is really popping. So, give me a thumbs up and let me know how well you love this. I love you guys. Stay safe. Bye.